Hey guys, Alex here with Computer Headquarters. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade your Chromebox 3. Should I just go? Because it's just recording? Or... Alright, so as I mentioned, we're doing a Chromebox 3. This is Asus's Chromebox 3. And this has the i7-8550U processor. This is probably the fastest Chromebox ever made up until just recently. I think they came out with the 10th gen. Um, but there's some perks about this one and why you might want to buy this one instead of the new one, which is mainly that you can install pretty much any operating system you want onto this box. And what we're hearing so far is that no one's really cracked the latest one to be able to, I don't know if cracked is the right word, but no one's been able to put a new operating system other than the Chrome that comes with it on the, the latest one. Anyway, so we're going to upgrade this. Since it has an i7, we feel like the rest of the specs are pretty bad. They're pretty low end. It only has 4 gigs of RAM and a 32 gig SSD. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put two sticks of 16 gig um, SODIMM laptop memory in to replace the 4 gigs. So we'll have 32 gigs total. And we also have a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD here that we're going to pop in and replace that 32 gig. I don't think anyone would really ever need to go this crazy with their Chromebox, but we're just doing it to show you that you can. You might want to only do 8 gigs of RAM and a 128 gig SSD, but we're just letting you know that you can go crazier if you want to. So the tools we need to do this job are a small flathead to take off the rubber feet on the bottom of the Chromebox, and a Phillips screwdriver to take out all the screws, which there are only four of. Alright, so Kyle's going to start taking apart the case of the Chromebox and he's using his flathead screwdriver to remove all four stands, I guess they're uh, feet, you would call them. Underneath all four of those feet are screws. As you're removing these rubber feet, you probably wanna put them off to the side, but with the adhesive side up so that you can stick them right back on later when you're done. He's got all four feet off now. Good job, Kyle, I'm really proud of you. He's now removing all the screws. Um, anyone that's watched our Chromebox 2 video uh, I believe that these screws that are underneath the feet are actually a lot smaller than the screws that were in the Chromebox 2 that we took out. Let me know if I'm not supposed to make sound or whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not supposed to make sound or whatever. Right. Kyle's now diligently staring at the PCB. Oh, let's actually, I'm gonna seriously narrate it though. Let's, let's like start over again. All right, so Kyle's gonna go ahead and open the lid now because he's removed all four screws. And voila! We've got two sticks of RAM, and we have a Wi-Fi card, and we have a 32 gig NVMe SSD. Let, let's take a look at those RAM sticks, Kyle. You wanna pull one of those out for me? Show the camera. So those are two gig DDR4 sticks, which are pretty unusual. Well, we have, uh, let's see if I can get this in the camera better. We have quite a few. These, this is, these are all trays just filled with these exact two gig sticks because we constantly upgrade these Chromeboxes. Um, we sell them as eight gig, 16 gig, and we upgrade the SSDs sometimes as well for our customers. And as you can see, we've upgraded quite a few of them. All right, so now Kyle has to remove the Wi-Fi card in order to get to the M2 SSD. So he's removing the screw that holds the Wi-Fi card down. He's having a very hard time with it. <laughs> Kyle's actually bringing out a different screwdriver, Phillips head, because the screw that's holding down the Wi-Fi card is actually a little bit bigger than the uh, M2 screwdriver that we normally use, which is this one right here. So now he's got that screw out. He can gently put the Wi-Fi card sideways you really want to do your best not to un, um, unplug or disconnect the two cables that are connected to the Wi-Fi card because they're just a huge pain in the butt to get back on. So we have a couple weird things that we have to explain about what we're doing here. One of them is that the, the nut that holds down the screw that holds down the SSD, we need to relocate it because we're using a full-size SSD. The SSD that comes with the Chromebox is actually a smaller size. I believe it's a a 60, I think they call it 2260, and I think the full size is like 2280. Don't quote me on that, something like that, but we're gonna relocate the screw all the way toward the back, like Kyle's doing right here. I told you there might be another weird thing we have to mention, and that's true. The SSD we have that's two terabyte, we only had one in stock, and it was RGB. So because of the RGB, um, you, don't, you definitely don't need that for a Chromebox, because you'll never see it. 
but that's all we had and because of that rgb on top it's a little bit taller than normal and the clearance isn't the same so we're not going to reinstall the wi-fi card just for this demonstration Okay, Kyle's got the new SSD secured, as I mentioned, he's not, oh, actually, can you fit that? All right, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and put the Wi-Fi card back in, we're not, we're just not gonna secure it down with the screw. It should still work. And then when we boot this up, we're not gonna put the casing back on just yet, um, just so we can demonstrate to you that everything was working. So Kyle's gonna go ahead and put the memory in now. Very easy, probably the easiest part of the whole thing. and Kyle can go ahead and uh, connect all the cables and we'll show you inside of Chrome OS that everything is uh, reading correctly with the correct specs, all 32 gigs of RAM and all two terabytes of SSD. All right, so as we mentioned, Kyle pressed the power button while he was using the paperclip to push in that small recovery hole. Now we are loading Chrome OS again. So this is kind of a longer process right now. We've been waiting on this screen for a little bit and it's probably gonna take a few more minutes. So we'll come back to you once we have something new. All right, so Kyle's gonna go ahead and remove the flash drive. The computer's gonna restart automatically. It said that on the screen. This is definitely a really easy operating system to load. It's very fast, very simple, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. All right, so Kyle's gonna go ahead and press Control-Alt-H on his keyboard and then he's gonna press No. Basically, if we don't do this, it's going to try to use the enterprise enrollment mode, which you might, maybe if that's what you're doing, that's fine. You can, can just, you could have continued and connected to your Wi-Fi and put in your username, but we don't have enterprise. So we're gonna go ahead and we did the control H and press no. And now we can just use a regular Gmail to sign in here. So we're, the account we're using is a throwaway account. So we're just pressing accept on everything. If you guys are using this, actually going to use this box a lot you probably want to read all those things that we just clicked accept and next on that's up to you we're just we don't want to make this video really long and go through all those options so now we're going to just show you that we have the 32 gigs of ram and the two terabyte ssd so as you can see here it's showing 1.7 terabyte available and that's pretty normal usually you don't see the full you know anytime you put a drive into your computer it doesn't actually read as completely perfect it's usually slightly less and now we're going to go ahead and show you the memory and Kyle's typing about colon backslash backslash system on his web browser and this is showing you your entire system there's a lot of stuff on here but he's gonna he's gonna press control F for search and he's gonna type in mem info and that's gonna show us the memory and he's gonna press expand next to mem info and the first thing you see right here is what is that three million two hundred Whatever it is, it translates from KBs to gigabytes and it's 32 gigs of RAM. So all 32 gigs are showing correctly there. And we have successfully upgraded this to an i7 with uh, 32 gigs of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. Take two. Yeah, we're putting the blooper reel. Cinema! Cinema!